Hello again. Double Talk 73 here, the fisherman's friend. Uh, been a while since I made a video. I apologize for that. But there's just not been a whole lot going on until this latest update with the addition of the Mississippi, the Blue Crab Island. And everybody's trying to figure out what we have to do. We got to get to level. Excuse me just a second. Got a little bit of nose. <coughs> got a little runny nose this morning. I apologize. But what we got to do is we got to get to level 54 or 55, whatever you prefer. And I try to figure out the fastest way to get there. It's tedious, to say the least. But uh, I saw a video with uh, KP Shimano. And he likes to use the carp in uh, Weeping Willow. But the European lakes and water rays are slow fishing. Uh, you can do that if that's what you like but uh, I think I have a way that might be a little better it's 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 your preference so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do we're going to California and we're gonna use these rigs I've got a bottom rod set up we got of course a simple bell. We got our heavy chaser 10-2. We got our Leviathan 10,000 reel. Okay. And with the addition of the new lures and uh, baits and lines and rods and reels and whatever, along came this 0.028 fluoro, which is 53 pounds. Uh, with the 59.5 rod the 57.7 pound reel and the 53 pound line you got a pretty good setup then I've got a 8 ounce sinker uh, they also something else new that come along are these titanium leaders <clears throat> another 55.1 pound which is uh, a lot stronger than what we've had before. I use a seven odd hook and spawn sack. Okay. Uh, I, hmm. Anyhow, that's my rig. Okay. <sighs> Interesting. Okay, that's my rig. So, oh, let me show you. They're all the same, all four of them. Okay, and what I also did, we're going to use four rods. I set up three more because I plan on being there a while. And if my rod or reel gets too weak, I can change to one of these so that I can keep on fishing without having to leave and go back for repairs so you can do whatever you want if you've got enough money which I got, I'm lucky I've been grinding a long time been playing the game for a little over two years okay and we're gonna fish for sturgeon in California now just find out where you need to be or where you need to go over on your inventory page click on your name and this little right here, experience to next level. Now, it doesn't say rank anymore. It says level. Uh, I have to get a hundred. Excuse me, one million twenty-nine thousand seven hundred ten XPs for my next level. Uh, right now, I'm standing at ninety ninety-eight thousand whatever. And that tells you you can kind of figure if you subtract this from this that'll tell you what you need in order to get to that next level okay okay uh, be sure you get a license don't want to get out there and wind up in trouble now it's ninety eight hundred dollars to travel there and eight thousand dollars for a license so you 
you want to stay there for a while, uh, a pretty good while, you're going to catch enough sturgeon to easily cover your uh, license fee from day, day to day, 24 hour day. And probably each sturgeon that you catch will carry your, cover your extend fee. So, we'll get here and I'll show you what I do. Also, something I found out. We can clip our lines now. They don't, if a fish runs out beyond the distance that you have your line clipped at, it doesn't tear your leader off anymore. Or break your line or whatever uh, that comes in handy because that way you can cast faster and you don't have to guess it bring it in bring it out bring it in bring it out you know to to get the right distance now I only use two well piddle my game's messed up we're gonna have to start it over so let's start it over. It was locked up. That's not a good thing. That happens. It's a video game. Fishing Planet Play. Take it a minute to load back up. I apologize. Everything's going to be the same except my rods and lines are not going to be already clipped. The two distances we're going to use is 105 and 85. So when I go in, if your lines are not clipped, I go in on a day, a morning, during the day, whatever. Spawn in and go ahead and set up my rod 1 and 2 for 105 and rod numbers 3 and 4 for the 85. We don't, I'm not interested in that. Okay. Now let's try it. Oh, here's the thing too. We're going to fish the same times as what I had in my last video, the 9, 11, 1, and 3. This is not such a good time. So you see that where the peak is. 9, 11, 1, and 3. Same thing here. This is a little better. 9, 11, 1, eh, so, so, and 3. Same thing here. Same thing here. Now, there's one peak that starts off, goes down. Oh, excuse me. Starts off and then heaves up like a roller coaster, okay? I think it's like day 9 or 10. But anyhow, we're going to fish at 9, 11, 1, and 3. But all we're going to fish is 15 minutes at each time. And it doesn't matter whether you catch one sturgeon, two, three, or four. The only reason to fish longer than 15 minutes is to reel fish in. <laughs> uh, waiting on the game, waiting on the game. And uh, you need to listen to this or, or read it. The, uh, here we go. Okay. This is our number one rod. So we're going to set it at 105. Clip it at 105. Let's get rid of this for now. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay. Press down your middle wheel and that clips it. See that little looks like a guitar pick right here. That tells you that your line is clipped. Rod number two, we do it 105. Now I saw a video on here by a gentleman named J.D. Cooper and he fishes during the day and he does pretty good the only problem is once he catches i think he catches 12 sturgeon then he's either got to go the next day or whatever but he's got to use coins once he gets and i don't want to use coins so i fish at night See, it doesn't matter where we wind up with it, cast it out there. We can just let it line out. Because all we want to do is, is get our distance set. Now, I thought I had another way. But it takes more time. And one of my buddies, his, on the game, he's Raffles 63. 
we worked on this uh, last night and yesterday for quite a while to come up with the fastest way to get XP. The money will be good anyhow, but what we're wanting is XP because we're wanting to get to Crab Island and we need a level 54 to get there. Okay, over here is where we're going to fish. There's my one marker. There's the other marker. And I'll put the GPS locations in the description. Okay. So now we're going to go to 9 o'clock at night. Now chances are we're going to lose some fish. That's just part of it. Oops. You know what I forgot? My rod stand. <laughs> kind of hard to put your rod on a rod stand if it's not down there, isn't it? At least I haven't figured a way to do that yet. Okay. Probably have to back up one, two. Here we go. And I like to put my light on so that I can see it takes more time to hunt of where to put your rod in a stand. Now, after this update, all the strike criteria is a little bit different too. The rod sound makes a different sound. The rod stand. The rod sound. The rod stand makes a different sound. Kind of, I told a guy last night, it sounded, or a lady uh, and a guy, it sounded like a, a rattlesnake in a glass jar. And here again, this is one of the worst uh, peak fishing. Uh, this, this starting at the bottom at 9 o'clock and the top of the peak being at 5. Doesn't matter. Any any night we're going to fish the same so you hear that snake in a jar number two yeah i can't hardly see with my light here nope it's number three well we'll get it we'll get it here we go Now the lighting's going to be a little bit worse, but I've got to turn that this one light off so that I can see my monitor better. I apologize. Or maybe I can just aim it a little different. There we go. That's better. Now a lot of people say, you know. Now here's another thing. That seven odd hook. We're going to catch some average larger size. People use five odd, six odd. I like seven on. I just I seem to catch an average larger fish, and I'm only going to fish 15 minutes. If that's the only one I catch, that's the only one I catch. But at the end of 15 minutes, I'm I'm reeling in and going to the next hour. I'm going to 11, 9, 11, 1, and three. Four minutes. If we get another non, we do. If we don't, that's okay. There are days where the peak starts at the top and goes down and then back up. And they're better. Better at 9 o'clock, bad at 1. Uh, you're going to average this way. I set a time on my... You're going to average about 4,200. Between 4,200 and 4,500 XP per night and I set a clock last night on the time needed to do this and fishing just 15 minutes at each of the four times the 9, 11, 1 and 3 okay 14 we'll start bringing them in uh, <clears throat> it was 18 minutes just a little under 18 minutes and in that time frame I averaged 4,200 XP. That's pretty decent. Uh, I got one where I got some, I got a little extra fish, extra sturgeon, and I did 4,500, which is pretty good. Now, KP likes to, sh Shimano likes to fish in the Weeping Willow for the Uni Carp. And he's getting, 
Okay, we're going to 11 o'clock now. He's getting uh, nicer XP's, but he's catching fewer fish. The European lakes have historically been slower fishing for me. Not only that, the bait's expensive. Uh, boilies and all that are $250, $300 per bait. And that's just, I don't want to spend that much money. I ain't worried about the money, but you might be. Spawn sacks a lot cheaper. Here again, I'm going to fish 15 minutes. It takes about two minutes to get all your lines out. Now, during that time, you hook a fish, go ahead and hook it, put it back, put your, uh, put it back on a rod stand. Excuse me again. <coughs> Lord, you blow my brains out. And uh, go on from there. But in less than 18 minutes, we should average, on a low side, 4,000 XP's. This is, like I say, this is one of the worst nights. Now, if you don't want to do this, see that one fish we got was 1,800 XP's. That almost covers your extend fee. Your extend fee is 2,000. If you don't want to fish the bad nights, Catch one fish and extend. Go on to the next night. Go on to the next night. Go on to the next. And you can fish just the better times. But uh, you're still going to take about 18 minutes. Okay. If y'all watched any of my videos before, when I get in a, about five to six minutes, seven minutes, and I don't have a strike, I like to, like to reset. I don't know what that does. It's a video game. It seems to help sometimes. So, give it a try if you want to. I got to blow my nose again. I'm sorry. <coughs> I don't know. I, I don't have a cold. I just wake up in the morning with my nose running like a faucet. <laughs> now, see? That. Now, when it gets steady bleeping that's when you want to set the hook when it's going beep 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 they're just teasing you and there's nothing there they're just biting at it but if it goes beep 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 about four or five times and then goes a steady like i say it sound like a rattlesnake in a glass jar <laughs> then that's when the fish is on there okay come on We'd like to get at least two this time. 11-11. Eleven, eleven. We may, we may not. Like I said, this is, this is a bad time. Now, with that heavier rig, you know something else, too. The fish come in slower, but they don't run back out another 40 or 50 feet. And also, I learned, if you put your rod over here to the left, parallel to the land, look at your rod. The, the middle bar it does not work your rod as bad so your strength for the rod stays longer that way you can fish more nights there we go 50 pounder okay and I don't know why but it seems like number one rod starts this progression more times than not Okay, there's our 15 minutes. If I'd have looked sooner, I would have cast that back out. I got a question for you. What do you get when you cross a centipede with a parrot? A centipede with a parrot. I'll let you think about it for a minute. I'm getting ready to set this next one. Okay, you got it? What do you get when you cross a centipede with a parrot? You get a walkie-talkie. <laughs> I like that one. I thought that was pretty cool. 
Okay. But it's not hard to get me to snicker. <laughs> Here again, we're at the worst, one of the worst nights as far as the where the where we started and where the peaks are. Doesn't matter. We're still going to follow through with our 15 minutes. Now you can fish longer if you want to. Uh, I fished for an hour, uh, just seeing what would happen. I didn't catch any more fish after that 15 minutes. So, here again, we're trying to do it as fast as we can and get as much as we can. Clank number three again. I see it took a whole three minutes to get that next fish on. We're not fishing for money, although the money's nice. We're fishing for XP. And we're trying to fish for as much as we can. See, this is a small fish, 38 pounds, but it's still 317 XP. That's what we're after. Okay, fish, come on, help me out here. <laughs> here again, if I catch one, two, th that peak that starts out here and ends up here, goes down, back up, and then down like that, I caught one. Okay, and then one time I caught none at that down area. That was the one o'clock. Uh, excuse me, that was a kind of over the back side of that loop or that hump but I caught none but I stayed there the 15 minutes and then I went on it's going to average out better see we're at 1 o'clock and this is going to be our fourth fish uh, the carp in weeping willow uh, the smaller fish the XP, okay, come on, come on, ah, the smaller fish are going to generate between two and 300 XP, we're not going to have anything that only generates 200 XP here, all ours are going to be 300 or better, shift three, Well, I wish I knew what was going on there. Oh, that's number one. Number two. There it is. There again, the only reason to fish beyond that 15 minutes is to reel fish in. And we're using a seven odd hook. My rods got mixed up. That's what happened. <laughs> the game didn't mix it up. I did. Oh, me. Anyhow, the only reason the fish. Here we go. Let's go over here and watch it. The rod. See how it goes down? When it's down like that, it's using less, doing less work. So it'll stay, maintain its strength. Or I can go up here and see it'll peak out. See, now there's a nice one. That's equivalent 
essentially to a uni uh, ghost carp. I think they're 535, somewhere around that. But still, the bait's more expensive. And it's slower. And like I said, we don't care whether we catch zero, one, two, three, or four. You'll have all four lines going sometimes. We're going to fish that 15 minutes and then go on. And I didn't plan this, but like I said, this is the absolute worst peak. Time. So I guess that's a good idea so I can show you what the worst situation is going to be with regard to the XP we're going to get. Anyhow, the actual real time to fish these four 15 minute segments when I timed it last night was 18 minutes. 18 real time minutes. So less than 20. And if you have to, so you got all four going and you have to uh, fish longer than the half hour or the 15 minutes, it could take a little bit longer than the 18 minutes, but still, believe me, that's a whole lot faster than waiting for carp to hit. The European waterways have been slow. And if you notice, Look at the guy reeling. See how slow it is? Everything seems to be slowing down. When you take the fish out of the water, they come out of the water slower. That's since this last update. But that's just part of it. Okay, y'all. Come on and bite. Now, my buddy and I thought about just catching one fish to cover our extend fee and going on to the next night. But I figured, well, I'm already here. I might as well use up the 18 minutes. That's not a lot of time. Okay, number four. Yep, number four. Number three again, okay? Shift, four, and three. Now, we all going to lose fish. It can't be helped. You just do the best you can. Throw it back out there. Sometimes you lose a fish with them sitting on a rod holder like that. Or sometimes you lose them when you reset and pick it back up. So far... See, there's a little one, 322 XP. <clears throat> uh, one of my buddies, one of his titanium leaders broke when he's reeling a fish in. Uh, the funny thing about that, uh, that hasn't happened to me yet, but one of mine broke sitting on a rod holder. Can you explain that? There wasn't even a fish on it. I guess the hook or the sinker was too heavy in the current. <laughs> but it said up there at the top says uh, the leader was broke. Your line was broke. So you lose. Now here's the weird thing. When he lost his, he lost his sinker, hook, and bait when his leader broke. When my leader broke, I didn't lose anything. I just lost the leader. Okay, here we go. So we have we fished for 15 minutes. We only got eight fish. That's the absolute worst. We only got 361 pounds, sixteen thousand dollars. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to hit our T key and we're gonna advance to the next night. And do the same thing. Now it's it's one of the lousy peaks too. See? Same deal. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is when I show the, do the advance, I just want to show you the XP. 
Okay, cost of two grand. Okay, we only got roughly three thousand XP. Now, if you have premium, you get almost forty five hundred XP. There again, we're not worried about the money. Money take care of itself. But three thousand for for uh, eighteen minutes. That's pretty decent. Okay, and then you just start all over doing the same thing again. Fish the fifteen minutes. Okay. So now what I want to show you is I want to show you the GPS coordinates and I'll put them in the here's this one it is minus 56.59 and minus 30.40 okay that's the 85 foot the 105 foot is minus 44.25 and minus 44.89 okay that's important and if you don't know how to set a marker when you don't know the GPS location or excuse me when all you know is the GPS location you haven't caught a fish you go down here and hit plus I don't want to do that anyhow you hit plus here we go right here see see your GPS moving around while I'm moving this okay let's say we want to set one at 49 right there get your GPS lined up to where you want to set it hit your left mouse button and that puts it there and then you go up here and annotate what you want it to say uh, distance time hook uh, the weather will be here uh, you can say like 11 o'clock 1 o'clock whatever okay that's the way you do that. And if you want to get rid of it, well, we've got to annotate it first, which we did. Okay. That, okay, it's gone. That's how you set a mark if you don't know anything other than the GPS locations. Okay. That's it. So, uh, one other thing I want to tell you. If you need to know or want to know how far you've got to, or how long you've got to go to your next level, if you come in on your inventory page, click on your name, right over here, it says, uh, let me get rid of this, it says XP to next level. Well, my XP to next level is 1,029,710. 1, if you subtract that number from that number, it'll tell you how many nights that you have to do this. Mine right now is about 20. Uh, that seems like a lot to go to each level you do what you got to do if you're farming you're farming uh, that's just that's just the way it is so that's all I got for you I hope it helps uh, raffles and I uh, we talked on discord and we kind of come to the, the meeting of the minds he's, he's pretty smart smarter than me I believe uh, that doesn't take much <laughs> but anyhow thanks for watching I'm sorry this was this long I just I want to impart as much information as I could so uh, 15 minutes 9 11 1 and 3 and the only reason to fish beyond the 15 minutes is if you're reeling in fish so that's it so take care good luck God bless you and your families. And if you see me out in the game, uh, ask a question. I'll be glad to answer. I like to help. That's what I'm here. I'm here to help you. So hit that subscribe button if you'd be so kind. And leave any comments, whether you like something or don't. I get them both ways. And a lot of people give me a thumbs down, but they don't leave comments. That I don't know what they didn't like. Uh, if you don't like something, let me know. And I'll try to improve on it. So thanks again. Uh, take care. And uh, I'll catch you out here again. And so this is uh, Double Talk 73, the fisherman's sin saying, <laughs> fisherman's sin, fisherman's friend saying, adios. <laughs>